Hi, this video is to show you where to enter a second mailing address for an employee. So I've logged into our system as Kathy Watts, the Director of Payroll and HR, and when Kathy needs to update employee information, um, if she needs to do it manually rather than using an HR action, she's going to go to the HR icon on her screen and she needs to pull up, oh, you know what, instead of doing that, let's just pull up the employee because this is showing us all of the action forms and things that we have. So we're going to go up to the top right hand corner to this search bar that is just left of our bell and we can click on an employee we've already searched for or we can search for any employee up here um, just by typing in either their first name, last name, or part of, or the, their ID number and it'll pull up a list of uh, selections for us. Once we have the employee pulled up, we need to go to their personal information section. And so when I type in this second search bar below the utilities, I have the option of clicking on any of these tabs using uh, the personal information because it's gonna be the same widget, it's just listed on multiple tabs. So if I click the personal information tab, it brings up the employee's telephone numbers, their social security number, and uh, also their email or their mailing address. If they have a separate mailing address, then we can come down to this box and check the separate mailing address box and put that information in. If they're updating their address, we would actually override the information in their main address box. So that's how you enter a separate mailing address or update the employee information manually. Let me know if you have questions.